Ah, I don't know if we've been on this one before. Do you recall this bunch of blowdowns? This is probably the other side of uh, that, that loopy thing. And we'll, we'll meet at that original point when we consulted the map up ahead. It's close enough. Oh yeah. Ah, yeah, here we're coming to here in Duxbury, Kingston. This is a little cooler. It's almost like slob chic trail craft. It's not as slovenly and hairbrained as New Hampshire with its pile of sticks. Instead, they salvage various sorts of pallets, which are just perfect for this sort of moderately damp wet meadow traverse. Oh yeah, and here we are at the junction marked with the somewhat old and fading yellow markers. And there's something in the understory. So yeah, this is a key junction. And now we go through the wet meadow lands of repurposed pallets. There's a fair amount of poison ivy around. I haven't noticed ticks though. There's our robin sentinel covering the point. And there's another robin scolding something. All right, and forward we go. Oh, there's a whole staging zone for pallets. A good idea. I think so. They're not too difficult to haul in. And you can just sort of put them where they need to be as you identify slop zones. See, now we're in the midst of this old Cedar Grove, unusual coastal habitat. Oh yeah, and here's where you were on someone's boundary. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to go down there. No. <laughs> we want to go down here. We're at the tip of the loop. Wow. Big old maple. And chat. Oh, look, it's 
that's a, either a white trail marker or a bay circuit remnant that someone wrecked. I'd say probably white trail marker. This is pretty overgrown habitat. <laughs> Lots of shelter here. Ah, there we go. Something from the Asper, Aster family. A bit more. Ah, and here's, I bet you this is uh, another part of that loop to the uh, double yellow junction that we found. Uh -huh. You know, that's probably, probably goes there. No, that, that, that's a way we could have come back at that funny junction where there's two yellow markers on posts. This probably brings us to the water. Oh yeah, we were on this earlier, I recognize. Yeah, it's going to be out by the parking lot, it's uh, the middle of the field, I think. Yeah, that's good, it'll work. Okay. Oh yeah, more buttercups. They're everywhere. It's their season. These are sedges. They look like grass, but they're different. Yeah? If you run your fingers around the stems, they'll feel triangular. These are types of sedges also. Really? They're common swamp plants. They like wetlands. Right. Oh yeah, this is how we came in. I think it's really dense here. So they would call this a type of sedge meadow. Okay. It's one of the terms they probably use for it. But it's sedge of grass? No, it's a different a family. A different family, yeah. Yeah, which uh, it's not a grass. Yeah. Grass family stuff, the stems are round, but with sedges, they're kind of triangular. So we came this way, and this is one of the ways you'd approach Bay Farms from the edge of Kingston. 
we're in the extensive groves of Kingston and now we're coming upon Duxbury one abstract little jurisdiction gives way to yet another abstract little jurisdiction it's basically you have to take the wholeness of the land see that this honeysuckle doesn't really know it's in Kingston and that grass is probably oblivious to its existence in Duxbury <clears throat> and we're trying to demonstrate the unity of that honeysuckle in this grass and this blueberry plant while we're about it so we really at the end of the day don't give a flat rat's ass about Duxbury or Kingston except in so far as they have worked to restore some sense of the living system unity that they once ripped asunder by deciding to be little ridiculous Europoid abstractions. Black and white.